Hey, what's going on? Lee Ron here. We're going to jump straight into business. I want to show you a mistake that you probably make high probability and is killing your sense of freshness in your watercolor paintings. Uh, this is just something I see all the time with students. Uh, so let me show you. And sorry, I need to have the camera low here because I really want to go deeper on the details. But I do want you to see my palette as well. So look at what I'm doing here. I am mixing a and uh, just a bunch of paint right in the mixing area and I have this shape I need to fill in now reality is usually the shapes you need to fill in aren't that simple but we're gonna start simple here is a mistake a lot of people make it has to do with how you mix it has to do with how you apply it has to do with your brushwork and it just makes painting stale inaccurate and just not good okay so a lot of people make the mistake of being scared to mix using the entire well, like I'm doing right now, and the entire brush. So you pick up a bit of paint, and then you do this. Now, what's wrong with that is, just the tip of the brush, like this, is that once you, and let me get my uh, test paper here, the problem is that once you, thank you drawer for being stuck now, is that you now have a difference in ratios in your brush. You can't just use the tip of the brush. You have to make the entire mix here homogenous, okay? So you bring in some paint and you make the entire wash homogenous. Okay, that's fine. Now here's what a lot of people do. They don't have enough water in their mix and then they do this, okay? They can grab a bunch of paint and they start filling in their shape, right? So here I am filling in my shape and very often I see this, this is not good. Okay, don't do this, don't do the framework, top to bottom, left to right, right to left, inside out, whatever you have to do, avoid this. Look at what happens here. By the time I fill in the shape, we already have some unevenness. Now here's where a lot of people, and you may do this to make the mistake. The shape is not perfect, it's not accurate enough. Let me just fix it, right? Let me just fix some of these edges. Oh, I missed a spot there. Let me just go ahead and do this again and again and again. And look at what happens already. You can see that unevenness, that staleness in the wash, right? So, and then maybe you feel like, oh, this isn't dark enough. You're gonna mix a darker mix. So what most people do is they just pick up a bunch of dark paint. They use it just with the tip of their brush. And that's if you're lucky they picked up this much. And then they go in, they put it in and it's kind of okay, but oh, actually it wasn't dark enough. So it lifts back and then, okay, this should be darker. I'm thinking I'm darkening, but what I'm actually doing is lifting paint, causing cauliflowers, making a big mess. Here's what I want you to do instead. Instead, make sure your wash moves on the palette. You have, it's wet enough, right? Unless you're tackling a very dark wash, you know exactly what you're doing. Make sure it moves on the palette. And here's what I want you to do, okay? Don't do what I did here. Don't go back and, oops, I need this, I need that. Look at what happens here, it's a, it's a disaster. Here's what you do instead. You put the paint, you use accurate brush technique to just get it in in one go, okay? Because what happens is this. Once you put paint to paper, from the moment you put it, it starts to dry. And once you come back with that same mix you had here, and you revisit it, it's already dry, but here you have the same level of wetness on your brush and it will create cauliflowers. It will make a big mess. You see this, it's very subtle, but this is gonna end up not looking good, okay? Now here's where people have a problem. Reality is never as simple as um, just, you know, here's the shape, I'm filling it in. The shapes are usually complex, like this one here, right? It could be a street, it could be whatever it is. So, mix enough. I want you to mix enough. So let's mix this kind of a gray here and make sure it flows, okay? Make sure the shape flows. Start small, top to bottom. Don't start doing this outline thing. Work top to bottom like that, okay? Make sure the wash is wet enough and it moves enough because if you go too strong like here, you're more likely to come back to an area with a very wet brush and it's starting to dry and then it makes a big mess, okay? And you just fill it in top to bottom. You don't touch this area anymore. You don't go back and touch it and see what happens. Maybe you miss this line, should be a little like that, not like this. Don't do any of that. Believe me. What matters is the overall look, the overall composition from afar. No one cares if you get the line here or there or in this angle or in that angle. People see the entire image, okay? And you just keep moving. And had I not used this wet of paint, this would already be starting to dry and I'll already get a terrible cauliflower here. 
Now look at what I'm doing here. I'm not revisiting this, these areas. I am not. I'm also not adding water to my wash because if I add water, I'll get a background upwards and I can show it to you here. Uh, maybe we can do that. But look, don't obsess over the shape. Did I get this fully accurately? No. But, but this is why you also want to improve your um, brush control, right? So you can get these shapes right the first go. You see, and even here I got a bit of unevenness, but that's fine, no one will notice that, right? Like, no one will notice this, but people will notice that. Um, so, don't obsess over it. You want to see what happens if I revisit it? Look at how wet or dry this is, okay? Let me revisit this shape that I don't think I got right. Look at this. This is a disaster area. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Look at what happens. I'm lifting. That's wrong, okay? Now, let me show you one more thing, what I talked about just a second ago. Let's say I'm doing this, right? And I feel like I am running out of paint. So I take a break and I bring some water in and I start to mix, right? Remix what I need. And here's the problem. If you bring in water, you have to bring more paint. So let's say I didn't bring more paint. I just go back and do this, right? Because my wash is wet enough, it's not going to be too bad, but you will start to see how and it's very mild and I'm doing this at an angle. I have about a 15 degree angle between my paper and my table. Uh, it, but still, look at what happens. You see, see this little thing here? It almost would have flown back up unless I take all the precautions of having it wet enough doing the angle. If I tilt this back now, and we just wait a few seconds, you will start to get a cauliflower here, okay? So what I want you to do, instead of obsessing over how accurate the shape is, did I get this edge to look good? Leave that, no one cares about that. What people care about is the overall composition. Avoid this, right? Avoid these unevenness, it's killing the freshness, it's killing the vibe of your paintings. Just don't do it, it's easy. You can incorporate this advice right now, right this second, and stop overworking. Now let me give you just a few final tips uh, to conclude this. Know the shape you're gonna paint, right? This is easy, just a shape. You know exactly what you're gonna paint. In a painting, and here I have some work in progress to show you. When you're doing this in the, in the context of a full painting, right? Let me show you here. It's very hard to know exactly what the shape your painting is. So think, take a few seconds to plan it out. Figure out, okay, that's the, these are the borders. This is exactly what I'm gonna paint. Figure out the value. How dark is it gonna be? How light is it gonna be? How much flow you're gonna have? If you need a very dark value, maybe start with a light wash and then do another one just to maintain some flow and not have it be too hard on yourself, right? But have a plan. Know what you're gonna paint, the exact shape, how, uh, what color you're gonna use, how light or dark it's gonna be, which is why I recommend working black and white because thinking about values, how light or dark it is, is much easier than thinking about colors, right? Know that before you start painting the wash because otherwise you're gonna get a lot of unevenness. Look at what I got here, this cauliflower. This, and I'm the first to tell you, this is not a big deal if you get these cauliflowers. It's not the end of the world, especially in the first washes, but it is a big deal in the next washes and why not avoid it if you can keep your paintings fresh and whatnot. So I hope that makes sense. Thank you so, so much for uh, watching. If you want to learn how to paint like me, enjoy, let go and, and enjoy the painting process, be sure to check out the Frustration Free Watercolor course. The link is in the description box below. Also, you can check out the Watercolor Realism course. You can check out the Patreon. I added it here for critiques. I would be super grateful if you do all these things. You help me make a living from what I love. So thank you so, so much for that. And I will see you in the next video.